Hey, so in this video, I'll show you how to connect the newest OpenAI model GPT-40 Mini to Google Seeds and generate content in bulk. For that, you'll first have to get this Google Seeds script. You can click on this button and it will ask you to make the payment and get the script. You will receive detailed instructions on how to use the script. So I have already implemented uh, the script in this Google Seeds and now let me show you how exactly it works. So I have some random laptops data. As you can see here, uh, these are the laptop model names, processor, RAM, storage, display, operating system, and graphics card. I have written a prompt like this, including all the available informations that I have. So if you see the prompt, this is how it is. Like generate a sort product description for the laptop A2, which is a variable in this case, and it will be different for all the rows. And uh, based on the following data points, processor is coming from the B2, which is here. Uh, RAMs from C2, storage from D2, display from E2, operating system from F2, graphics card from G2. And I have also written that do not use uncommon words and phrases. Keep the output under 50 words. So now that the prompt for the first row is ready, I can just drag it down. And now the prompts are generated for all the rows that we have. So now let's move to this settings sheet. And here I have already copy pasted my OpenAI API key. Now I have to do some uh, settings here. So for temperature, you can it can be from 0 to 2, but mostly uh, from my experience, I keep it at 0 0.7. Max tokens. So it depends on how long you want the output to be. Generally, 1000 tokens is equal to 750 words. So since I want the output to be only 50 words, I can keep it low, maybe 100 or 200 and even 1000 works. Like since I have already mentioned specifically in the prompt that uh, keep the output under 50 words. Even if I keep it at 1000, it will still follow the rule. I start processing from row. So I want it to start processing from row number two and then process till row number 11. So I'll write just that from two to 11. Data sheet name. So data sheet name is data. I'm doing all the things, uh, prompts and outputs inside this sheet called uh, data. So I'll write data. Yes, prompt columns. So I have the prompts in the column H and I want the output inside the column I. So I'll write H and then I and it's done. Now I'm ready to run the script. So uh, let me select GPT-4 mini first, 4O mini. And let's fetch the data. As, as you can see that the outputs are coming from the API. Let me stop it. And you have other models available as well. Like right now I can select GPT-4 O as well. Let me select it. And then if I generate, the output should be here. If you see, and output will be always correct because we are not asking it to generate the information or the description from its own memory. We are asking it to just rewrite based on the given information. So it will always be correct. So this is how it works. And if you want, we also have a Google Seeds script that connects multiple AI models like OpenAI, Cloud, uh, Gemini, or Grok. So you can get it from here. I'll put all the links in the description. And if you want this one that I showed in the video, you can get it from here.